What do you do when your beer bottles start exploding? Stick around to find out. Seriously, exploding beer bottles are a real possibility and they can be quite dangerous. Not only can you lose your beer, but you might even lose an eye. So why exactly does it happen? Well, here we're not really talking about exploding foam coming out of a bottle when you're pouring it. We're actually talking about the bottles themselves shattering and exploding all over the place. So what exactly causes that and how can we fix it? Often the most common cause of exploding beer bottles is when the brewer has done nothing wrong. They brewed the beer exactly as they should and they've used exactly the right amount of priming sugars. However, they've actually used the wrong type of beer bottle. This can happen if you recycle beer bottles and you use the wrong type of beer bottle for the wrong type of beer. What I mean by this is some beers are under higher levels of pressure due to their level of carbonation. So if you use the wrong beer bottle, it may not be strong enough and that means that the bottle will explode. So always, always make sure that you match the beer bottle to the right beer. Uh, for example, some Belgian beers are going to have much thicker uh, bottles because they are generally higher alcohol levels and have higher levels of carbonation. So make sure that you're not using um, a fairly weak lager beer bottle for something like that. So as a general rule, um, I would steer clear of screw top bottles because they're not really ideal for being uh, for reuse for home brewing. And also, I tend not to use plastic bottles because in my experience they're not really strong enough for some of the uh, uh, higher, uh, for some of the beers under higher pressure. Another cause of exploding beer bottles is actually nothing to do with the beer bottle itself. Um, it's actually to do with the beer that you put in it. Now, sometimes uh, newer brewers will actually over prime their beer or um, they will rack their beer when it's actually not finished fermentation. So the best way to avoid this is firstly to take a reading of the gravity of your beer uh, towards the end of fermentation and maybe wait 24 to 72 hours to make sure that that final gravity doesn't change. Um, also, make sure that you use a good online uh, priming sugar calculator or use an app. That way you're not going to over prime your beer and that will lead to over carbonation in the beer bottle which then may explode. However, sometimes over carbonation in the beer bottle is actually nothing uh, to do with the brewer. It's down to a bacterial infection. If there's a uh, wild yeast that's present in your beer, it might be fermenting some of those fermentable sugars that regular yeast doesn't. That might lead to a buildup of uh, CO2, which is going to lead to uh, your beer exploding. Sometimes the cause of exploding bottles is actually where the beer is being stored. If you're storing beer in direct sunlight or in a, a very hot place, this can agitate both the liquid and the gas in the bottle, and that's going to um, build up the pressure and it might lead to exploding bottles. So if you've had a couple of beer bottles that have exploded, I recommend that you uh, go in uh, to that room, of course uh, I would say protect your eyes, wear some sun sunglasses or something like that, um, and then open the beer and place the cap on top of the beer for about three to five minutes. This will allow the build up of uh, carbon dioxide to escape and also that's going to limit the um, exposure to bacteria. And then recap them using fresh bottle caps and hopefully this will give enough headroom in the beer bottle for the remaining CO2 to build up and uh, it won't explode the bottle. So the real issue here is to do with headspace because uh, if you remember from science class as liquid heats up it wants to expand as does gas and both these elements are vying for the same space. So if you have left your beer out in the sun or in direct sunlight and uh, in a hot place make sure that you chill that beer and store it in the dark. If you do this for a few days and reduce the temperature to around uh, the normal sort of um, room temperature, then you shouldn't have the problem of exploding bottles anymore. So if you want any more information about this issue, head over to my website at beercreation.com slash beerbomb. Hopefully you found the uh, video useful and if you did, consider sharing it with a friend. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss any of the new videos that I upload. So if you have any other questions or you'd like me to talk about anything else, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.